Well, Dobro, you throw my friends from a oh, chili. Did you see my breath on the other side? You can see it, it's cold. And I'm walking here on the green bridge that's not been uh, cleaned very well. There's been a little salt thrown on it and people have tramped through here. Uh, but anyway, today is the 17th of December on a Monday and I am walking. I walk clear from, clear over there. I stayed in a hotel and I thought it would be nice to walk. <laughs> Because I hate taking the bus in Serbia. I hate taking public transportation and taxis are outrageously expensive. For us Serbs here, on a Serb salary, we can't afford it. So, bus, you can get on the bus for free in Serbia. Uh, but I don't break rules because Alexander Vucic was nice enough to allow me to stay in this beautiful country. So I follow rules and I didn't want to buy a bus ticket. Because I don't like to be crammed in there like a sardine. But anyway, folks, here we are. We're on the Gazelle Bridge, Green Bridge, checking out this controversial project that I like to show frequently when I'm here to show the updates. This is called the Belgrade Waterfront Project. There used to be old, dilapidated buildings, etc., all through here, but they have demolished all of them. Very controversial they did this. Uh, when you talk to Serbians here, very divided folks, very opinionated folks, and I love them with all my heart, uh, but this project, half, less than half of the people I know support this project, uh, they was against it. The other bit are for it. That's just my numbers, I just threw together 40%, 60%, but that's about what it is. Uh, but they're doing a lot with it. The project's coming along nicely. There's this beautiful K, this beautiful little walkway that goes all the way down. Outdoor little seating areas like this. This big, beautiful condo building filled with apartments behind it. They just built that new one. And you've got lots more going on all back through here. There's that big parking. It's really hazy this morning on December 17th. Cold. But right over there is like parking area. And they're building more things behind it. So this is going to be a massive, massive thing here. Uh, it's going to look nice when it's finished. It butts up these new high-rises, if you will, butt up against Old Town, which is like over here. I mean, this is the older section of Serbia, of Belgrade. And I don't know. That's what we got going on. I think it's pretty. They got lots of benches, really nice lighting. In the summer, there's flowers and stuff out there. It's a nice little place to meander around and check out this beautiful city, you know? Uh, but people don't like it, and, and that's their business. That's the Serbian people. They're, they're, they're the people who own this country by George, and they've been showing it too. My God, the last few days, uh, last week or so, they've had lots and lots of protests here. They don't get a lot of coverage in this country, but it's the same almost everywhere you go. There's, the government controls the media, Big business controls the media, and they, they want to show you what they want to show you. Anyway, friends, that's an update here from the beautiful city of Belgrade, Siberia. Because it's Siberia-esque, it's cold and snowy. It's supposed to be this way for a long time. I miss Thailand and Vietnam. Anyway, friends, that's our update. Ciao, ciao. Okay, my friends, here's a glimpse from the back of Belgrade Waterfront Project. Actually, there's two buildings they've got erected, if you will. Forgive my sexual innuendo. Well, I guess it's not. That's a proper terminology. Jesus, I'm the pervert here, I suppose. Uh, anyway, big parking area for all the workers. Really nice thing they did that I really liked, that I thought it made sense, uh, was the buses. Used to the buses coming up this way. To, to get over into the bus station, it was a mess. So now they have this whole place just for buses. Bus goes up here, it turns around, and it goes right in there. Did I show that right? I was looking, and I wasn't looking where my finger was pointing. Buses, the bus station's over there. Alta Buscastani, it's the main one. Used to, the, they'd have to try to turn in. Now they can go clear up here just for buses, turn around and go right into the bus station without impeding traffic. So that's convenient. You've got another big pit over here on that side. Workers. The guys have been working on this project constantly. And since I've gotten back from the USA, I've noticed so much expansion, so many projects in all these different cities. 
So I'm not one that's going to sit here and be political by any means. Uh, but there's a lot of development going on in this country the last couple years. So I don't know where to throw the blame or the, the praise, if you will, or blame. Some people don't like it. Uh, but anyway, things are getting done anyway uh, over the last couple years. So we'll leave it at that. You can form your opinions. I know there's many of you who hate growth and advancement and things like that. And there's some of you who love it. So whatever. I like your country all the same. Anyway, that's it. Cold day. I'm walking to the office. I got a long way to go, folks. But I'm healthy now, so I can do it. Ciao, ciao from Belgrade. Hey, don't know you throw from Belgrade, Serbia. Look at this. These folks are out here protesting NATO with a Nazi symbol right in front of the Skupština. So, dobro jutro to everybody. There is a beautiful Skupština here in Belgrade, Serbia. You know, they're always having banners and things right in front of the Skupština here in downtown Belgrade. And this one here starts out way over there. It's got Hashim Tachi. See that right there with a line through them. All the leaders of Kosovo and Albania. UCK, which was the oh, Albanian unit uh, in Kosovo. USA considered them a terrorist organization until we sided with them in the 99 when we illegally attacked Serbia. They have this whole thing, all the missing Serbs, pictures of them all along that little banner. And then down there it says kidnapped by the and murdered Serbian civilians by the Albanian UCK terrorists. They used to have Bill Clinton, Madeleine Albright on there. So anyway, 